Today, we're going to take a look at the mobile version of the Rhino Fleet Tracking application. Once you've logged in once, you won't have to do it again, even after closing out the app. It's a good idea to click the Refresh button to the right of the search bar as soon as you log in or open the app, just to be sure you have the most up-to-date information. The first screen you see is the map. It will show all of your devices. If your devices are located close together, you may see an icon with a number instead of individual icons. This is a cluster, and if you tap on it, the map will automatically zoom closer and separate out into individual icons. The world icon in the top right corner will toggle the map between satellite and normal modes. To view all of the devices in your fleet, you can pull up on the tray and see a list of all the devices, including their last known location. If you want to select a specific device, you can either do it by clicking on its name here in the list, or if you collapse the tray, you can select a device directly from the map. This will zoom in on that driver's location, and if you pull up the tray again, you will see that vehicle's timeline for the day. On the timeline, you can see all of the vehicle's trips for the day. If you want to see information from a previous day, click the white filter button. On this screen, you can change what day is displayed by clicking on the date, using the wheels to select a different date. I'm going to select yesterday. You can change a few other filters here, like if you only want to see events and not all locates, and if the day's events are shown in ascending or descending order. Once you have your filter set, click Apply. You can see that the list now reflects the new date you selected and any other changes that you made. Tapping on the Basic Info section will provide more information about the device you have selected, such as its current speed, if it's moving, and its last known location. You can also see any vehicle information that was previously added, like the make, model, and year, and information about the device, like its serial number. This screen is also where you'll find the Locate Now button. When you're done looking at a particular vehicle, press the X to go back to the main map page and press refresh to once again update the data. The distance feature in the mobile app can be used to see either how far your vehicles are from your current location or how far they are from a different address, such as a customer or a vendor. Start by clicking the distance button at the bottom of the map page. To see how far they are from your current location, click the arrow icon in the top right. This will automatically calculate how far away your drivers are from your current location and list them, starting with the closest. The distance between is based on their last reported location. If you want to see how far away your drivers are from a particular address, start by typing it into the search bar. Then, click the search icon to the right. This will create a list of your vehicles sorted by who is the closest to the address you entered. This way, you can contact the driver who is closest to the location and dispatch them quickly. You can set up notifications in the mobile app by selecting Settings at the bottom right, and then by tapping on Notification Settings. Not all notifications can be set up from the mobile application, but the most common ones can be. For this example, let's set up a speeding alert. This alert will send you a text or an email if a driver goes over a specific speed that you've selected. It's important to note that this speed must be set on the desktop version of the application in order for you to turn on the alert here. You will still be able to turn on the alert from here, but you will not receive any unless the speed threshold has been set on the desktop. You can choose to set up either an email alert by tapping on the envelope or a text message alert by tapping on the speech bubble. To receive text message alerts, you must enter your cell phone number on the desktop version of the application. The email notifications will go to whichever email address you use to log in. Once the alert is on, the icon will turn green. Press the back button in the top left corner to go back to the main notification settings section.